Have you ever looked at a world map and wondered, why does Europe feel warmer than the United States when it's clearly farther north? It sounds impossible, but the truth is stranger than it seems. Take New York, for example. Winters there can plunge to minus 10 degrees Celsius, with snowstorms shutting down entire cities. But travel across the Atlantic to the same latitude and you'll find Madrid, a city where snow is rare and winter temperatures usually stay above freezing. Even stranger, Paris sits farther north than Toronto, yet Canada faces winters that last for months longer and hit far harder. So, what's really happening? The answer begins thousands of kilometers away, deep in the Caribbean Sea. That's where the Gulf Stream is born, a massive river of warm ocean water that travels through the Gulf of Mexico, heats up to nearly 28 degrees Celsius, and then races up the eastern coast of the United States. Instead of staying there, this warm current crosses the Atlantic and releases its heat over Europe. Powerful westerly winds then spread that warmth across the continent, keeping much of Europe surprisingly mild. This is why even Norway, sitting at the same latitude as frozen Alaska, has gentle winters and ice-free coastlines. But the United States faces a very different fate. On the west coast, the cold California current slides down from Alaska, cooling the air and keeping temperatures lower even in summer. And during winter, another force makes things worse. Over Siberia, enormous pools of freezing air build up and strengthen the Arctic cold. That icy air mass then travels across Canada and plunges straight into the central and eastern states, creating sudden temperature crashes, intense blizzards, and brutal wind chills. It's a global tug of war. Warm currents protecting Europe, cold currents and Arctic air shaping America. And now you know, the climate difference isn't about latitude. It's about the invisible engines of the ocean and sky, quietly controlling the weather we feel every day.